So we're now going to be building a small application that every time we refresh the page, uh, we go ahead and show a quote, a random quote from a set of quotes that we've defined. So you can see here, as I refresh, we have uh, pretty much a random quote. Now we've already learned about how to generate random numbers. We've already learned about arrays. So what we're going to be doing is combining these two to show a random quote from an array. And what we're then going to be doing is refactoring it so the code is a little bit shorter and a little bit cleaner. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and build this out and then we'll go and refactor it to make it a little bit better. All right, so we are starting with a blank PHP file. I'm actually gonna pull over an array that I already have here just so I don't have to type out all of these quotes. But by now this should be pretty familiar to you. Okay, so here we have an array of arrays and then we have an associative array here so we have author and text so it's important to note that all of these quotes are the same they all have an author and they all have text that's really important okay so before we go ahead and output these to the page we're first of all going to work out how we can generate or at least extract a random quote from this list so the first thing that we're going to do is create a quote variable which will hold that random quote that we've pulled out now we know that in PHP we can use the rand function, we've already seen this throughout the course, and then we can go ahead and provide a lower and an upper bound. So in this case then, if we just go ahead and echo out quote, obviously this isn't gonna be a quote at the moment, however, it is gonna be a random number between zero and 10. So what we can do from here then is knowing that an array is zero indexed, we can leave the uh, lower bound at zero, but the upper bound is always going to be the amount of items we have minus one. Now the reason it's minus one is because we have a zero indexed array. So if we had say one, two, three, four, five in here, it would be zero to four. So we know how to count the values of an array. So we just use count quotes. And then all we do is we minus one because obviously the count function here will return an integer. Okay, so now that we've done this then, we have a random number between zero and four, and we can prove that just by giving this a refresh a few times. All right, so now actually time to extract the quote out. And very, very simply, what we can do is say something in here like quote, and then because this is an array, we're gonna access it by that randomly generated number. So we just put this into our square bracket notation to pull out a quote, and let's just change that to quotes like that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we should have a quote, but remember we can't echo this out because this is going to be an array within here. So we're gonna do a, a var dump on quote to see this. So give that a refresh and you should see now this change uh, every time. So that's pretty straightforward. We are gonna be refactoring this in a moment, uh, but that's pretty much it for now. All right, so now we're going to, from this quote, extract out the quote text so we can use this uh, in a more easier way. And we're gonna go ahead and grab that quote and we're gonna grab the text out. We're gonna do the same thing on the next line. So we're gonna say quote author. And again, we're just going to pull out the author from here, brilliant. Okay, so now we need to display this. Now, I said earlier that we shouldn't really go ahead and have PHP start tags here end tags here and then HTML. Normally what you would use is a templating engine to make this a little bit easier. Uh, but since we're not that far ahead, let's go ahead and just do this for now. So let's go ahead and create that document layout just here. And again, if you want to copy down this code here, if you're not familiar with HTML, go ahead and do that. And now we just literally want to output these to the page. So the title here, we're just gonna say random quote. And in the body, we're now gonna create a block quote element with HTML. And then inside of here, we're gonna have a header. Now in here, we need to find out how we're going to output this. Because we're still within a PHP page, what we can do is we can use a PHP starting tag and an ending tag on the same line, and then we can just write any code we want in here. So if you are building a very small project, this is perfectly acceptable. So let's echo out here the quote text that we defined just up here, this will be uh, available here, so we can use that. And let's also create some HTML entities, uh, and this is LDQUO, and then a semicolon. This will just create a quotation mark for us, and then we need to do the same, but for a right quotation mark, so it's uh, RD, and then QUO. And let's just make sure that we end that there with a semicolon, 
and we can go ahead and take a look. So there we go. We now have a quote there with quotation marks. Brilliant. So just as a side note, what you can actually do, and this entirely depends on your PHP configuration, you can actually use a shorthand syntax for this. And this is the following. So uh, this looks a little bit different and we don't need to include the semicolon here, but this will go ahead and output the quote text. It's a little bit shorter, but yeah, depending on how your PHP uh, configuration is set up, that may not work. I always prefer to do this just to be uh, safe. Okay, so now inside of this block quote element, we want a strong tag. And then in here, we want the author. I'm just gonna create a little hyphen there and we're gonna go ahead and simply do the same thing, but we're gonna do this for the quote author. So let's go ahead and echo out quote author, end that line off and we're done. So let's give that a refresh and let's just make sure we spell that correctly. There we go. We need to change that over to author. You probably noticed that. And there we go. So that is our random quote displaying on the page. And of course uh, you can do whatever you want with this. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to look at an alternative way that we can do this. Now, this is perfectly acceptable. There's nothing wrong with pulling out uh, a random quote using the rand function, but there's a slightly better way to do this. And we'll take a look at this now. So what I'm actually gonna do is just down here, I'm gonna kill the page and I'm gonna use something called the die function. We can also use the exit function as well, but typically we use this just to kill the execution of the script. And you'll notice here that nothing after that runs. So that's just a little tip if you need to uh, play around with something and not have anything else run. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is introduce the array rand function. So we know what an array is, and this just happens to be something that plucks out a random value from an array. So let's go ahead and pass in an array. So this does require uh, the array that we want to grab a random item from. And remember, if you want to check this out, go over to the PHP documentation and have a look at what this accepts, what it returns and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm just going to assign uh, this to a variable quote. And down here, we're going to var dump on quote just to see what we get out of here. So let's give that a refresh. And you can see here we get int one. Now this might seem a little bit strange, but what's actually happening here is we are from that array plucking out a random value, but or a random array item, but by its key, not by its actual value. So from this then, just to avoid having to do something like this and having to minus one off the count of this, this makes it a little bit more convenient. So what we can do now, because we know that this returns an index, we can get rid of that or at least cut it, and we can just paste that directly into there. So that makes things a little bit cleaner. Again, there's nothing wrong with the first solution, but to me, this is a little bit cleaner. So now when we go ahead and refresh, we can see that it works in the same way. Okay, so that's that project done. Just a little application to go ahead and display random quotes.